everyone welcome to the channel knowledge star way to continuous lifelong learning my name is nisha masood in this video we will get to know about synthesis of gelatin nano and micro particles by our expert professor gohidar who is associated with national center excellence in agro nanotechnology teridaika nanotechnology center india he has 31 years of academic experience in teaching and research his area of expertise includes nano science and nano technology nano bio interface science soft matter science polymer physics and biophysics will explain to you in detail about this topic so to get complete information watch full video without skip so now this is exactly the synthesis protocol we are going to follow now they realize that gelatin is a wonderful hydrogel forming material and these hydrogels are thermoreversible hydrogels and this gelatin concentration is about 2% this is the threshold gelatin concentration of gelatin we don't want the gelatin to gel in the aqueous environment so we'll stay in a concentration of less than 2% with a volume so focus on the left hand side where the protocol for making gelatin nanoparticle is given you make a 1% solution dissolve gelatin in water at 60 degree celsius stir it for about 1 hour wait for it to become a optically clear solution which because basically meaning that it becomes homogeneous after that switch off the heater bring it down to room temperature now your precursor solution is ready okay now your gelatin is in a equilibrium state where the chains are completely hydrated with water molecules and it will stay like this forever now i want to dehydrate it break the hydration layer what is going to be done is we add ethyl alcohol to it ethyl alcohol being a much smaller molecule compared to gelatin it can orient itself very nicely and try to rapidly form hydrogen bonds with water molecules that are available so the water molecules which are providing hydration to gelatin chain will abandon the gelatin chain and will immediately go and form hydrogen bonds with ethyl alcohol because it is much easier to form hydrogen bond with ethyl alcohol because because ethyl alcohol is a much smaller molecule hydrogen bond if you remember is a directional bond between the oh there is a specific angle there is close to 179 degree or so so many times for to achieve this the water molecule has to orient at a very awkward position and it gives a lot of energy required so when you form hydrogen bond with a smaller molecule that energy is not necessary and it can be done with a much less expense of energy so thermodynamically it becomes favorable to make hydrogen bonding ethanol with ethanol so the hydration layer will be slowly depleted add more and more ethanol to it more and more hydration will be lost okay ultimately what i said will happen the gelatin chain will now see itself bare of any water of hydration the segments will come closer as a polyampholetic molecule positive and negative charged segments will come and overlap on top of each other and try to form these nanoparticles simultaneously two similar gelatin chains also will come together and start a intermolecular interaction process start forming aggregates and these two things will happen simultaneously and there will be it will be a two phase separation one having nanoparticle dispersion other having predominantly aggregates in it the next phase is basically separating these two things which is easily done i am not talking about microparticles and we can create also microparticles that is not the topic for today but we will just stay with the nanoparticle synthesis i hope you like this video if you want to see these type of videos please do comment we will definitely look after that thank you 
For more updates, subscribe to our channel. Click the links shown on the screen to stay connected.